Hi, I'm Karthik from Fisherman Twining Institute, Salala. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use calendars in Microsoft Publisher 2010. Once again, I repeat the topic. How to use calendars in Microsoft Publisher 2010. Let me see the objectives. How to use calendars, how to customize color, font schema, business information and page orientation and how to change the template and last is print preview. In order to open Microsoft Publisher 2010 you just click on the icon Microsoft Publisher 2010. When you click on the icon it will take you to the backstage view. The view is called as a backstage view where you can able to find plenty of options and categories like home, most popular and more templates. So in the category most popular select calendars in order to work with calendars. When you click on the calendars it will take you to the plenty of install templates, the varieties of install templates. Where you can able to find full page category, wallet size, and blank size, and last is the manufacturers. So now we are going to discuss about wallet size because regarding full page size, already we have discussed sufficiently. So moving to wallet size, so you just select any of this template. I'm going to select lines. When you select lines. It will appear on your right hand side where you want to customize it. You want to customize the color schema. When you click on the color schema, a drop down will appear where it will be having a plenty of predefined color schema. Or else, if you want to create a new color schema, you click on create new and customize the colors as you like and name it and save it. So now I'm going to use the existing color schema. And regarding font schema, when you click on the font schema, this again a drop down will appear where you can able to find a plenty or varieties of predefined font schema. Or else, if you want to create a new font schema, go to the bottom where you can able to find create new. Click on create new, where it will take takes you to create new font schema where you want to define heading fonts and you want to define body font and you want to name it and save it now I'm going to use the existing one and next comes the business information when you click on the business information it will display the existing business information or else if you want to create a new one you just click on create new where you want to give the name, position, organization name, address, phone, fax and email. And if you have any motto, you want to give the motto and the logo. And name it and save it. So I'm going to use the existing one, my info. Regarding page orientation, when you click on the page orientation, it will display two options, namely portrait and landscape. So when you based on your requirement you can change the page size and next comes the time frame so one month per page if you want to print only one month per page or else if you want to print one year per page okay so first we'll see one month per page and set calendar dates so I'm going for April and click OK and then click create when you click on the create icon it will takes you or the corresponding template will be loaded into UI for customization now there's a template what we have selected and I'm just go to page design tab where if you want to use any color schemas can change it so I'm going to format I'm going to change the color then 
go to insert i am going to insert the business information the individual name so where i am going to do some customization so go to format text box tool so this two or tabs are called contextual tab so i'm going to change the text direction and i'm going to change the font name select the font and then can increase the size and going to give some colors and regarding text just click on text text box tools and i'm going for center alignment center alignment then now i'm going to insert the logo so go to insert where you can able to find picture placeholder so when you click on the picture placeholder you can able to see this click on this and select the picture location you can able to reduce the size and customize it as per our requirements you can customize it zinc it you can move it so now i'm going to apply some picture style as you like as per the requirements okay let it be okay fine and if you want to do any other customization if you want to insert any text here also you can able to insert it after doing all your customization go to file and print where you can able to see the print preview and if you want to change the paper size you can able to change it now you can able to see Okay, fine. And if you want to save it, you can use the option save and give a name. And you, these are the various types of file in which you can able to save it. For example, publisher, publisher template, and PDF, XPDF, XPS documents, blah blah blah. So you can select any of this, any one of this option, and give a name and save it. Okay. So now I'm going for a new one and calendars and this time So I'm going to select wallet lines the same but one year per page, okay? Click okay. and create So where you can able to see this calendar so one year per page if you want to do any customization for example now I want to insert a picture in this So select the picture and customize it So now I'm going to make it smaller going to 
place it corner okay and then I'm going to insert some flip part just click on clip part I'm going to type computer and click go now I'm going to insert this image so uh, minimize it So likewise you can able to do the customization as per our requirement after doing all your customization go to file if you want to save it click save give the file name and select any one of the file type you wish to save and save it and then if you want to go view the print preview go to file and print and if you want to change the size you can able to change it now see the difference i think you may enjoy this video and if you have further queries you can email me using the email id karthik.me.vl or gmail.com or just log into my blog www.kr3ik.blogspot.in and post your comments thanks for watching this video thank you